Hey Galworth community, this is our first little uh, tutorial video that Ms. Garlock and I would like to share with you about how to use Zoom to communicate two-way with your classroom teacher. Uh, some classroom teachers are going to be sending you an invitation to communicate with them and your whole class on an app or a platform called Zoom. Now Zoom is free to use and it's free to download through your mobile device. How you decide to use it shouldn't matter at all. But there are some things on how you need to set it up and how you need to access it that we'd like to go through with you right now. So first of all, you're gonna get an invitation from your classroom teacher on joining the Zoom meeting. Now, some classroom teachers are sending out emails that will be scheduled times throughout the week. Uh, so you will either get an email the day of or even in advance of when a meeting is gonna take place. So for example here, Ms. Garlic is inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting. She's scheduled for today at 3.30 and there's a meeting link there. There's a meeting ID and password there just in case the app prompts you to enter it. If you click on the link here like I will, you shouldn't need to enter that, okay? So I've decided I'm ready to join the Zoom meeting and Ms. Garlock's already started it because it's at 3.30 and it's already uh, at 3.48 on our time. So if I click this link, you'll be able to see it's gonna take me right into the Zoom uh, website. So it's gonna ask you, do you wanna open Zoom? Yeah, I wanna open Zoom. So you click on that and it's gonna say launching. Now, if you've got a webcam like I do, it's gonna ask you a couple of things. It's gonna ask you to join with video. So I'm gonna join with video today. Uh, I've turned off my camera for now so I don't get some feedback in our video here. Uh, but uh, it does, when you click join with video, it does work. And then I'm gonna click with join with computer audio. And then it's opened up in a little window here. So I'm gonna bring Miss Garlock over here. And hi, Miss Garlock. Hi, Mr. Tazo. You're there. I am here. Thanks for waiting so patiently for me. I know that I'm 20 minutes late for the meeting, but I'm here now. We made it eventually, that's what matters. Thank you. So I know that you're on that end. Do you mind if I show everybody else how to use this and just kind of ask you to mute your screen for now? Absolutely. Awesome, that would be great. Thanks, Mrs. Garlock. Yeah, you bet. So Ms. Garlock is on the other end and she's waiting for us. I just want to show you a couple things. I'll make this a little bit different size here so you can see some things. So on the bottom of our screen here when we're in a Zoom, there's some things that you need to kind of be aware of. So first of all, there's my video that would normally show me, okay? I can choose to mute my video right here. Uh, and there's Miss Garlock's screen and she's currently out of the session right now while we can explain things. At the bottom, it tells me how many participants are currently participating. So you can see that there's two of us because it's Miss Garlock on me. But if I clicked on it, on the right hand side, I can see who's in there. Okay, you can also see that over here, I can also click mute so that I can mute my audio. Okay, if I go back to the bottom here, another nice feature here is chat. Mrs. Garlock can, can click chat and I'll move my little picture over here a little bit. Uh, there's a chat feature here that I can say hello to everyone and I type and I hit enter. Um, or if I want to send just a message to Ms. Garlock and she's hosting to saying, um, uh, help, I need some tech help. Ms. Garlock can maybe send me a private message instead of everybody seeing that I need a little bit of tech help. Okay, so that's the chat piece. Um, the record piece we won't need to use and what will probably end up happening is that um, when Ms. Garlock sets up or any teacher sets up, they'll turn that feature off. So we won't do record for now. Uh, if a teacher is going to record a Zoom session for any particular reason, they will notify students in advance and parents in advance and get permission from that. Okay, There won't be any recording without anybody knowing permissions. I really like this reactions button on the bottom here. So I can react and I can say, hey, I can give a thumbs up and you can see up here that Miss Garlock would see that I reacted or I can do a clap like I showed there. So there's a clap and there's a thumbs up, which is really neat to, uh, to be able to share. Uh, if I go over also to um, the side here on my video options, if I really wanted to get kind of fancy here, I can choose a virtual background and I can change what the background looks like on my on my uh, screen. Now I'm not going to do that today, but you can have a little bit of fun with that if you'd like as well. Um, also in the chat window, I'd like to point out a couple of things here. Uh, there's another mute me button, but there's also a raise hand button. The nice part about the raise hand button is if I click raise hand, Ms. Garlock sees in the chat window that I've raised my hand and that I have a question. So that she has the ability to see that rather than everybody talking over each other, I just click raise hand and then she knows that I have a question and she can come back later and she can say, yes, Mr. Tysel, you have a question. Okay. I can then when I'm done, click lower hand because my question has been answered. Okay. So that's pretty much how a Zoom meeting works. Um, what's important to remember when you're doing a Zoom meeting is that when you're not talking, you mute your microphone because sometimes you get feedback. So you can just do that by clicking up here where it says mute. I can also go down in the bottom left corner here 
and I can change my mute microphone to be, I can just click and go, and now it's muted. And now it's back on. Okay, so that's, Zoom's pretty easy to use. Um, at some point, you may be venturing with your teacher to do the share screen. Uh, your teacher has the ability to block you from showing your screen. Uh, so if you decide to share screen and nobody's ready to see that, or um, there may be a, uh, uh, it's not the right time, let's say your teacher can just turn off your video from the rest of the group. But let's say I'm ready to share my screen. I really want to share what I've been working on. I can decide to go into um, my screen here and I can choose uh, screen two if you have two monitors. I can even choose whiteboard here. And if I choose whiteboard and then I click share, it turns into this whiteboard where I can actually draw different things. Um, and I can uh, change the, I can change to a stamp, let's say. My stamp is my X, so I can do some stamps, let's say. Or I can change the color, okay, of my drawing. I'm going to change that to a red pen. Okay, whoops, draw, sorry, red pen here. And we can do some outlining here. So what's neat is our teaching staff can also show you um, how they're doing things. Let's say in, um, in language arts, when you're completing a sentence punctuation or a sentence, or they're using math to problem solve or some quiz they want to show kind of virtually, they can use the whiteboard. And students can also flip back and they can share uh, their own whiteboard. Okay, and then I just click stop share way at the top here. Uh, let's move my screen here. There's a stop share at the top. Okay, and then now it goes back to the original Zoom screen. Okay, so that's that's kind of Zoom in a nutshell. Uh, we're gonna play with it a little bit and we're gonna get some familiar, familiarity with it. I know some teachers are looking at ways that they can do practice Zooms this week. So look out for that in your email. Uh, there is a participant limitation to 100 per meeting and we're limited to 40 minutes at that time. So right now, uh, if teachers do the Zoom, we wanna make sure we get no more than 100 people and also want to limit it to about 30 minutes so we don't go over the 40 minutes. Otherwise, Zoom just cuts us off, okay? We're not paying for a business license or anything right now. So that's the free version of Zoom. Anybody can sign in and use it. We hope that it'll be useful for everybody. Um, if you have any questions about Zoom or you're not sure, you feel free to um, send uh, your teacher a message uh, and we'll communicate any way that we can to get through that tech issue, okay? Uh, that's it for now, everybody. Have a great evening and we'll talk to you soon.